Okay, so let's just look back at, at this decade. Just let's talk about this decade. Uh, so your your worst memory of a or, of a goalkeeper or whatever, Yakub, like least favorite goalkeeper in this decade at Trabzonspor. I don't know, man. We we had some pretty good goalkeepers this decade. You know, this decade was the decade of Onur. Yeah, so I guess you know, Onur Onur was pretty pretty good. He had some uh, flaws, like every goalkeeper does, and. The couple of times that he was injured, we had um, some great goalkeepers that you might know, you know. Um, <laughs> Go away. <laughs> um, that you might know that did pretty well at us. Um, but we didn't We didn't have a lot of goalkeeper well, well, problems. Let's, let's expand this because we're doing decade next week. Let's just talk about history then. What's your, like, for the new year, bonus, whatever. I'm just going to drop this as a little bonus uh, segment. So what, what's your, yeah, you're just the, the, the goalkeeper you think of and you're like, oh my God, it's, you know. <laughs> you it's, have to have that. it's probably Jefferson because, you know, we we expected a lot of shit from him. He, he had a, like an insane record of like 35 games and like 32 goals or something like that. Yeah. And then he went, he came to us and he had like, I think I, I'm going to exaggerate a lot. That's my thing. He, he probably averaged like six goals, <laughs> six goals a game. And then we were like, what the fuck, dude? We were supposed to be our savior. Um, he was really awful. We had uh, Tony Silva, <laughs> which I just, I I don't care. Tony how, Silva, how... wasn't the fat, the fat black guy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, ah, yeah okay. Yeah. Right. I, I just don't understand how we got that guy. Um. You Wasn't know, he the goalkeeper for Cameroon or something? You know, we we got we got keepers that for Senegal. For, he was ah. we got keepers that were supposed to be like really good, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they came to us and then shit at the fan. You know, um, Tony Silva <laughs> came between 2008 and 2010. He was like 35 years old, but he was so horrible. Um, <laughs> you know, Jefferson. Jefferson was Jefferson. I think is still playing. By the way, yeah, probably. Wrong. Yeah. Um, let me check. Oh no, he just he just retired. He he played with Botafogo. Didn't he win the title a couple of years ago? He, and he was he like won. goalkeeper of the year in Brazil and stuff like he that. He won the Confederations Cup. We got him when he was. Uh, let me check. Two thousand two thousand and five. So mm. he was like twenty two years old. Yeah, so he was, was really young. And the Confederations Cup was. Probably wait. We had a Confederations Cup in two thousand three. I guess we had one in. So we probably won in two thousand three. Then with with Brazil. Um, two thousand and thirteen. Mm. Oh okay. Oh. Yeah, and the World Championship uh, uh, under twenty years old in two thousand and three with Brazil. Mm. Okay. You know the. the uh, yeah, for me, it, for wise, we are pretty good. I think for me, it has to be Jenk. Like Hakan Hakan Arikan had his moments of, of of badness, but he didn't stay that long, you know. So for Jenk, I, I had to suffer with that guy for a while, and I was so happy, so happy when we actually I I couldn't believe that we got money for him and we sold him and to God's right of all clubs, you know. I mean, I was, <laughs> I was like, I was elated. Like that was like one of the happiest moments in my life. I was like, oh my God, we just sold this rubbish guy. To Galsrai, and I was so happy, and um, it kind of felt similar. Well, I no, you know, Is, at least Ismail Koibashi had a good season with us before he went to Fenerbahce. But it was funny that he he won the title with us, and then he goes to Fener, and he he went from like four hundred thousand a year to one point seven million a year. <laughs> <laughs> and they just and you just know they signed him out of spite because we had just signed Janer, so that was funny. Uh, or no, I think they signed him because we signed Gukhan because Gukhan was announced really early and Janna was a deadline day transfer. So I think we, are, yeah, 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 because Janna had just left on a free to enter, and they signed Ismail to get back at us for giant signing Gukhan. Yeah, that worked out well. So <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah. So uh, let's let's talk about uh, your favorite, uh, your 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 biggest uh, regret of, of 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 whatever you know, as long as you've watched. Uh, which was your biggest disappointment of players that uh, came to Galatasaray? Oh, uh, I hate Ufuk Jelan as a keeper, you know. Uh, <laughs> ah, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the 
they he was uh, speculated as a wonder kid when he was at Money Sport at yeah, the but time. Aren't but all the Turks aren't all young Turks. Yeah, yeah, kids. yeah, yeah. And uh, the goal uh, against Bursa Sport, uh, Wedderson uh, from halfway line <laughs> just take, took a shot to oh. our goal, and it was in. You know, but Wedderson had that. You know. He, he yeah, has a but, couple of yeah, 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 but you know, Ufuk Ceylan didn't have any fundamentals about how to be a keeper, how to stand properly inside <laughs> the goal, you know. And there was a game against Ankara Giju uh, in 2011. He got red carded from like uh, tackling a guy. Well, no, no, not tackling a guy, handling the ball outside of the area. And he claimed he didn't handle it, but in the footage, you can clearly say that he's saving the ball with his hands outside of the box and still arguing about it to the referees and <laughs> I don't know, this the heaviest games of uh, Al Samian. Uh, we lost to Ankara Gigi like 4-0 or 4-2 or something. Well, was, it, was it the last year in Al Samian? Because that was pretty abysmal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this, uh, and also Robinson Zapata was a disgraced football you know but <laughs> yeah i do have to say like you know as bishtish fans we don't get we don't celebrate titles as often as other clubs may but i i always feel like we were kind of lucky in in terms of winning the title in our 100th year um having a great opening game having a great ending game um you know, just like having a nice send off for 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 Inunu, having a great opening at Vodafone and stuff like yeah. that. For and us, it's a disgrace. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like your last season at Adi Samian was was pretty shit because I mean, like one of the stands was like not accessible for the entire season. Yet, like an average attendance of eight thousand or something that season. Uh, you know, you lost. I think all your derbies, maybe uh, maybe not against Fener. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So we uh, lost the first derby in the arena. Did you? Yeah, Alex scored. Hmm. And uh, the worst defender we had in the defensive two, I could say, Chris and Frank fucking De Boer. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you remember of De Boer, though? Like, how old were you then? Like, I was watching Gals, right? Uh, uh, I was 10, yeah. Hmm. So... I was watching God Strive and I hate Frank Debo because he was so uh, slow, you know. Uh, Past it. Yeah, yeah, he has tendency to make a lot of mistakes and he didn't have the pace anymore. Yeah, and but that was a I have watched. Yeah. I have watched the footage about Galatasaray's uh, appearance on No Camp just a year earlier and Frank Debo was the defender of Barcelona down there and mm -hmm. he has a massive mistake down the to uh, Elver Balic and Elver Balic missed it but how could a defender do something like that he just passed the ball to his uh, keeper but he was he went short and he just uh, went onto the ground tried to catch the uh, Balic uh, but but he's uh, one of those guys that like I think he was really good in his prime like he was yeah phenomenal. but he but he yeah. like really slipped like yeah, I mean, you know, how old was he when he came to Galatasaray? Like thirty-two? No, yeah, that's like it. I would like it. And also, uh, I would say it. he wasn't that old. I think, right? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay. Yeah. Rick Chamdal oh. is a disgrace to football and all the sports. <laughs> yeah. He was decent at Eskişehirspor, man. Yeah, for Eskişehirspor and a good Kazakh to Galatasaray. Uh, that's what happens when you when you guys bring him in and you gave him like 1.7 million yeah, or something. Yeah, because of the foreign rule. Yeah. And I still think that even with, the, yeah, but well. even with the foreign rule, I think you could bring him guys like that on smaller contracts. Like you you guys had that, like when you just had uh, Turk Telecom, like I think one of the big reasons for the, 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 the state of Turkish football right now is Galatasaray. And I'll, also, tell, and I'll tell you why. is because you guys started throwing out ridiculous contracts in the beginning of the 2010s. Like 2012 or so, you guys gave such shit contracts. Like two and a, like I remember when Tumer went to Fenerbahce, that big controversial move, he got two and a half million. And that was like double what he was making in Besiktas. But that was like 
unthinkable back then. And you guys, you just like into 2012, you're like, oh, you know, I hear 3 million to Selchuk, 3 million to Burak. You know, it doesn't matter. Five year contracts to everyone. Uh, ba- yeah. guys, on, guys on the bench will give you 2 million a year. And, you know, everyone had to follow suit. Like, uh, we were talking about this in, in, in the episode earlier. Um, you know, Jakub said, like, we can stay relatively competitive in, in terms of wages. But actually, no. Because the reason that the Turkish clubs are in the shit they're in right now is because of these quote-unquote competitive wages. And honestly, I think Galatasaray are the main perpetrator when it comes to that. Because you guys set the trend of that really high You know, wages. I saw did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you didn't know anything about football. You and only you are the reason of all the bad things yes. happening. To- yes, <laughs> yes, thank you, Jakub, thank you. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's Galatasaray... Doing that, setting that trend, being successful, and then the other idiots, Besiktas, Trabzonspor, Fenerbahce, trying to, oh, look, it worked for them, let's try it too, and then you start giving out stupid contracts. Like, for example, like, I get Oles Hunters Jakub making the money he does after what he did. But then, of course, you know, nobody could have imagined that he would have completely fallen off the fucking face of the earth, you know, a couple, you know, the last two years. Like, nobody could have. Uh, taught that but then you give fucking Mustafa Pek to make 1.6 or some 1.7 million a year like that's like what the fuck your third fucking striker even if he's your second striker he shouldn't be getting that you know yeah. also I would say uh, Jem Paul Karajan is a disgrace to football as well like I was watching him while he was training for the games like uh, the mid games uh, half time uh, he was just warming up on the pitch, and the guy couldn't even hit a pass accurately. You know, <laughs> to his like five meter away. I don't know. That's that's the insights you get as a se- as a former season ticket holder. You get to see all those guys go out and fall on their asses in the warm up. Yeah, you know, that's stuff we don't get. This well, you can see it a little bit, I guess, on on the PM preview. But they're usually and also I had to see Errol. Uh, wait, no, Era Ishjan. Uh, Ah, uh, conceding a free kick from Bale from 40 yards out, you know. <laughs> you don't have the privilege, you know. <laughs> Man, I, 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 would... remember, I remember watching a friendly game between Trabzonspor and Ordusport, just, uh, you know, just Azerluk Maca. And I was lo- looking at at Bamba, and I was like... So Bamba? Yeah. Oh, like, Suleiman Bamba. How can you be such a bad player? Like, you could, you know... You could just see. I, I only concentrated on him. There was a, there was when we had uh, Safara, we had Vitek, you know, all those guys. And then I looked at Bamba and I was like, oh my god, this guy is absolutely horrible. And then later in the season, he went and uh, played against Fenerbahce, I think, and he had two own goals. And I still thought, like, oh my god, who saw this guy and you know took him to the team? Didn't you know? he come from the Premier League? I. I think we either got him from yeah we got him from Leicester Blackburn yeah. or Blackburn. No, we got him from Leicester. Oh, and you know it's I don't get it. He still plays. He's, he plays for Cardiff City at the moment, so you know, he plays he plays pretty high football. And um, from what I remember, he, he played at Leeds United a, a, a season or two. You know, and, well, yeah, continue. And uh. and you know, I I heard a lot of good things about him on Reddit and stuff, and I was like, are we talking about the same guy because he was absolutely horrible for us hmm. but I think we all kind of have that play like I remember Gordon Schildenfield being this massive flop at Besiktas and then he actually went on to he went to play in Russia and he was like a starter for the Croatian national team and this is like a Croatia that like I mean Croatia well, like, yeah Runje but Runje was actually a really good goalkeeper in Belgium man um, and you I actually say the same thing about Sinan Bolat but he's shite Sidan Bolat is a great goalkeeper. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what it is like, because Belgium is like a really good pond of goalkeeper talents. Like, go, they're consistently good goalkeepers come out of Belgium. So I don't understand why Vedran Rune just couldn't make it in Turkey. Why Sinan Bolat couldn't be really well? He was good at Kayseri Spor, but you know, couldn't really do much at, at the goal. He also had the privilege to. Uh... Concede the best goal I have seen live in my own life, you know, Aaron Ramsey's goal with his weaker foot from all the way out to the top corner, you know, how can you score that kind of goal? 
I mean, in uh, my opinion, the the goals that uh, um, that either Snyder scored against Fenerbahce or Alex against Galatasaray, those goals were like, you know, they might not be the most technical ones, but they are like fucking hell. They are so good yeah. to see. Do you do you remember the Snyder's goal against Trabzon free kick? Uh, unfortunately, I do with uh, one goal. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember Quaresma's goal against us. Oh, I yeah. remember Honor all those. Just, Honor just standing still, just looking at it. Yeah, the ball just like it looked like the ball teleported, man. Mm-hmm. I remember uh, Van Persie against us, the free kick where the game was like four-one for them in Avnaker, and they right. pretty much like tore oh, the whole and they just, out. They just yeah, yeah, yeah. That was ruthless, also ruthless also aggression. the best game ever yeah, I've watched in the last. 10 years was the Trabzonspor Besiktas game that ended 5-4 3-4 right 3-4 four, 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 yeah yeah How, like Atiba. 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 hit the Fuck ball from the halfway line and hit the post yeah wasn't it 3-2 for Trabzon and then Talishka equalized with the free kick i think yeah, yeah and then it was Atiba a great game. Game. And, and, in the amazing. corner the keeper was in it was like yeah, a yeah, bullet yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, Talishka Talishka the thing about Talishka you know i I loved and hated him because he was, he was, I think he was since Alex probably the most clinical midfielder. But was he a midfielder? That's the thing, you know, because as a 10, I thought he was rubbish because he couldn't pass. He didn't have really good vision or anything. He was a really poor playmaker, but he was almost like a second striker and he was so good when he was in the box with his head, with his feet. It's he reminded me, of, he reminded me of Recoba. Or Rivaldo. He, not Rivaldo. Rivaldo is a pure masterclass. But Recoba, like, he's the same kind of left foot yeah. power placement. I mean, but if you look at uh, the Rivaldo, they look pretty alike, though. Because yeah, long, slanky. Yeah, both but Rivaldo, long. of course, had much better vision and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. they, the, the similar, the similarities are the goal-scoring prowess that Rivaldo also had, the free kicks that Rivaldo also had. Rivaldo could score with his feet, with his head. It didn't matter. You know, I, I still, feel... I still, I still can't believe that Rivaldo finished his career in Greece, pretty much. Like, uh, he I didn't still... finish his career there, but like you know, his Olympiakos. Yeah, and then I, later I, I, I used to like the guy, but I every time I think of Rivaldo, I think <laughs> I of the tell. 2002 World Cup. And my 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 blood starts to boil. <laughs> it's funny. I was thinking about that the other day, and I was just thinking fucking to myself, asshole. like I remember at the time, like, "Oh, you fucking asshole!" But then I was thinking about this, like, literally yesterday or the day before, and I was thinking, you know what? Actually, I was he really that much of an asshole? Because what the fuck is Hakan doing, kicking the ball the, up against him like that? Like, but a, the ball, like a little the ball hit his like upper leg. And yeah, he, he but it was like you yes, pull yeah. It. I, I know, I know, I know. But why did he do that? Like it also, was such a petulant, childish thing to do. Yeah. Also, well, when you think about Rivaldo, he caused Fenerbahce to go over the Champions League <laughs> group with a yes, with zero the free point. kick in the 90th minute or something. I, re- I remember free what- kick. I remember that. Good free kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watched that live. That was one of the... F- I don't know how or... Because that was in 2001 or so. And I really started yeah. getting into football around that time, really. I think 2001, 2002 season is when I really, really got into football. But I don't know why I would have been watching that game. Because it was like midweek. And I... I back in those days, I always was with my dad. I watched my the games at my dad's. Like, uh, he used to... Uh, he at, at different times, he owned a bar. He worked in a bar. Stuff like that. So, I must have been with him during the midweek then. Because it was a Champions League game. But I remember vividly watching that live. Uh, I don't remember exactly which one of the bars it was. But uh, just, you know... You know how it is in a Turkish bar. Like... All the tables full of, of the one side of the of the cafe is full of Galatasaray fans, the other side is full of Fenerbahce fans, and then like Besiktas fans in the corner and Trabzonspor fans. Um, and <laughs> I just remember that 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 everyone was like the Fener fans were like, no, no, please, no, please, no, because they didn't want to end on nil points, you know. And then it went in. It was it was pretty. Maybe I watched it at home on TRT though. Who had the rights back then? Do you remember? Probably like Star. Yeah, no, then I, I did, definitely start. didn't watch it. Maybe Sina Besh even. Mm. Yeah, Sina Besh was the league though. I don't. Uh, it was probably stuff. I don't remember. I I just remember watching it live and watching it happen, and it's like kind of being part of history in a way. <laughs> 
I, I know I know that we're doing like the best uh, team of the decade next week, but if you had to choose the worst uh, the worst eleven for your team, doesn't matter what decade. Uh, if you okay. had to choose, the, we we did we already did uh, the keepers. Yeah. Who who do you think is the worst defender that Pishtash had? Baki. <laughs> Baki Merjurek. Oh, I thought it was so shit. <laughs> I, 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 and every week he started. I, every, every match, every game, I was like, please no Bucky, please no Bucky, please no Bucky. And he started every game and he was so bad. And I don't know, he played so many games. I don't understand how that's possible. But I, 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 I hated Bucky. Really did. It was so shit. Who is it for you, Umut? Uh, what's the question? <laughs> the worst defender that you think Oscar ever had. That you uh, watched, basically. That you watched. Uh, that's a hard one because I watched so many bad guys. You know, uh, even though he's bad, uh, he was great as well. Uh, Danny No, Danny Known Koo. Oh yeah, he was great when he was playing for us. You bastard, giving you the match. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, no, no. He even played against uh, R- R- Cristiano Ronaldo. Can in, I change uh, my answer? Or Danny fucking Nunko, man. Fuck that asshole. Oh, with his alien head, weird shaped head, <laughs> fucking cunt man, oh, fucking uh, selling the game. Uh. But I would say, uh, mm, maybe, uh, hard, but Chris was really bad as well when he came to us. Yeah, he was uh, over the he, hill. Yeah, yeah, Terim tried a new Ufalusia thing, but didn't go out, you know. He was great at Lyon. <laughs> yeah. For many so, years. So, it was uh, then, like their Louis Sao. Mm-hmm. Then, I don't know any... Uh, yeah, Charles Arbiringi was bad. Mm-hmm. Really bad, Charles Arbiringi. He was really good at Denizli. Yeah. Long shit Ch- taker. Charles Arbiringi, uh, and then who was the Ikinji? It was a guy named Ikinji, and then you had... Uh, then you Hassan Ikinji. Tra- and then you had <laughs> Hassan Ikinji <laughs> Trabzon <Trump's> more. <laughs> but there was a guy called Ikinji too. I remember. The Chavi from Trabzon. Yeah? What? Yeah, yeah. Hassan Ichunji was uh, from yeah, yeah. Hassan, or something. Hassan Ichunji was Trabzon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Such a great player. <laughs> okay, okay. Your your least favorite midfielder then? Yeah, yeah. Cool. I really don't know, man. We we had some. We had some pretty decent midfielders. Um, but the least favorite. <laughs> Come on, not decent. Uh, you have to have someone you hated every time you started. It probably is like. Um, I could up you know something because I hated every time that guy oh, stepped oh, on the Atik. pitch. Fatih Atik. Oh my god, yeah, that that season you can pretty much take the whole midfield except, you know, maybe uh, Merit Ekje and uh, Okai. But I remember I could him being so horrible. He couldn't handle the ball. He couldn't pass it forward. He couldn't pass it sideways. Um, <laughs> one time I saw him. In, I saw him in Trabzon. And he was driving like a Nissan GTR, and I was so angry that he got that guy and he got the car with the money that he earned from the club. Um, I still have a picture with him, believe it or not. Not the proudest moment of my life, but I was like, "Oh my god, it's a Trabzon Sport player. Let me take a picture." Yeah. So I, probably I, I, think, I fucking. I I I only have like one picture I think with a Besiktas player. I have a picture with Carvajal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I saw him That's in Rania. I saw him in, in Rania in Guleri Jeans Cafe. Okay. I have a picture with Jink, but Jink Tulsa, not Jink Gooden. <laughs> not Jink Gooden. <laughs> no, I have a picture with Jink Tulsa. Uh, I uh, met, met him uh, when we were. Me and Kim went to the away game at uh, Tottenham and uh, we got uh, VIP tickets from Atiba. And, uh, oh. Nice. And uh, during the after the match, we because the the exit from the VIP section was like right where the player bus was, so we got to meet some of the players and took took a picture with Jenk. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, l- least favorite midfielder for you, Umut? Could be Mustafa Sarp and Jem Paul Karajan. Okay, Mustafa Sarp. Yeah. Okay. Mustafa Sarp. I hate because the guy uh, scored twice. Twice against Galatasaray with two different shirts, you know. He Musa? first and which one else? No, no, no. He he went to uh, uh, Balakazer Sport in 2012, uh, and he scored against us. Then he transferred to Kardemir Demirci, Karbiksor, and he scored against us there too. 
didn't he score for Bursa against you too? I didn't remember that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, my least favorite midfielder. I want to. I want to say Nejib so bad. I don't know otherwise, honestly. Like the guys that I like really disliked in history were like Vesel. I really hated Vesel, like a striker. You remember? You guys remember Vesel from yeah. Manchester really? Yeah. Vesel Jihan. Oh, yeah. every time he came on with his bald, balding head, and ah, oh, he, oh, I, oh, I, I hated it whenever he came on. Sander Kutulush. I, I, I like Sander. I like Sander Kutulush. Uh, yeah, I think it has to be maybe Nijib. I, I really don't like Nijib. Like, as a player, huh? I'm not saying, like, just as a player, I, I, I never really, because he's a ticking time bomb. He can take a red card uh, in a split. Like, I remember the tree. You guys remember a tree tree in, in Kadikoy we had? Yeah, where... he went to, to the corner there and, we, like, emptied his place on the field. Then Alper Potuk came in and scored. It was, it was, I think, uh, F- Fenner got a red card in the first half, I think. And we were leading 3-2 or 3-1 or something at halftime. And, and he still looks And we, looks had a, we, we had a man more. So then the coach, I don't even remember who the coach was, puts in Nejib at halftime to secure the win, basically. And he <laughs> takes two yellow cards in like five minutes. The, uh, and then it was again 10 against 10. No, no, I remember some thing about the Fenerbahce game where he went to look for a goal to the other goal and uh, emptied his place on the field and Fenerbahce scored because of it. Mm, I don't know. Maybe a season after. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Nijib for me, I don't know. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with him because it's like, I do kind of... It's like, ah, you know, like... This ugly couch that has been standing in your house for 10 years. And you don't like it, but it's been standing there for so long that you're kind of like, don't... It's like sentimental. sentimental. Yeah, maybe. You don't want to kick it away. You don't yeah, want to keep it. But you don't like it anyway. <laughs> that's kind of you're like what... I don't. I don't want it, but I don't want to give it to anyone either. That's, that's, <laughs> ne- that's, <laughs> ne- that's Neji for me, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, least favorite uh, attacker or winger? Uh, yeah, let's do a winger. I mean, for for problems for that's that's it's it's like the list is so long that you know. Um, in my opinion, until we got Cardozo, um, you know, after after Burak left, before uh, after uh, after Burak left, after Fatih Tekke left, and um, after uh, Cardozo left, we had just such an awful. We had we had. So oh, Hyun Jun Suk, horrible guy, horrible guy. And oh yeah, horrible. Um, Cardozo was good. Yatabare, Yatabare was bad with us. Um, mm. We had fucking Dennis Yilmaz for some reason as a winger, uh, as a, as a forward. He had number nine for us. Horrible guy. <laughs> he was good um, at uh, Elaza though, right? I know, I know. Um, we got me, we got Yanko. I I remember Yanko from his days. Oh my in the god. And he was so good in in, in, in in Austria, and then at Twente. Yeah, he was he, he was yeah. such a great player, and I remember being angry because every time he went on the pitch, the players just didn't give any crosses. Yeah, so they, I was, was gonna like, say, do you think happening? it was the team around him just not working? Because I think I I think it was the team around him that was trying to you know get him out. Um, you think they had... were like deliberately trying to sabotage him? I I really do think so. Hmm. You know, we had we had players like. Fucking the Brozek brothers. One of them was a forward. Yeah. I remember Piotr, when we, Piotr, right? Yeah, I remember when we got uh, Gokhan Yunal. I really liked him. He did. He did have some great matches. Yeah, the good good season with you guys, and I went to Feno, right? Yeah, yeah, and we got uh, we got uh, we got the king back, the Kral. So I don't know. Pro- I remember being angry when we got Thomas Yun because I was like, you know, thirteen years old, and we, I was expecting such a great player after. Uh, he was good no, at Sparta Prague. Yeah, and he was really, really good with Besiktas, wasn't he? I think he scored like one goal. Right? <laughs> he scored zero with us, so that's a that's an improvement. But it, <laughs> it's probably from all those guys, I don't know. This is probably the most difficult for me. I I have to go with. I don't know, man. It probably like Denis Yilmaz. Denis Yilmaz was uh, Denis Yilmaz and Sefa Yilmaz were were all strikers for a long for a bit, and I don't think that. 
that you can be so bad, you know, that you have players like both of those. <laughs> Um, you know, we had Mohamed Demir. Oh my God! I was I was surprised to say that Gurley wasn't more successful. At, yeah, uh, at Trabzon. Yeah. What do you think that was, the reason for that was? Because I mean, Volkan Shen, man, he wasn't oh. a striker though. And no, no, Volkan, no, but he was attacker. Yeah, yeah, but Volkan Volkan had some pretty good games with us. He wasn't the greatest, but yeah, I he, was, he, he was he was he, old John Adam before we got old John. His failure was mainly due to the the, the crowd. Yeah, I think. the fans and yeah, and, and the president. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He so, just came at the wrong time, um, I think. Yeah, Although I, 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 I think Volkan Shen is an idiot, just to be clear. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't mo- disagree with that. He had his moments. He had his moments. I don't disagree with that. So yeah. probably, as I said, Denis Yilmaz or Sefa Yilmaz. Because we got Sefa Yilmaz for three and a half fucking million do- euros. <laughs> so yeah. that was a kick in the dick. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's get that uh, foreigner limit back in place so we can go and I mean I don't know what they expect like they 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 the TFF did this whole thing with uh, you know uh, with the banks and now we have to oblige to certain criteria financial fair play criteria basically but then they also want to get the, the the foreigner limit down again so then what's gonna happen I, I mean and. The big clubs aren't going to be able to buy anyone anymore. Like we can barely spend a million now. Like two million transfer fees, like a lot of money right now. Yeah. You know how do they expect to be able to to buy any anyone? Decent? I mean, if you keep if you keep having those Turkish players that are crying about not being able to play and earn a shit ton of money. Yeah, doing like Batuhan Karadeniz, right? <laughs> oh my God, I forgot about Batuhan. We even got Batuhan once. Did you? Yeah, yeah, we got what's one. I, I I forgot about that one. That we I had can't such. I a... remember that. You no, know, we we did get him, and it was fucking such a horrible time, man. Yeah, I, he's he's such a disappointment. Like yeah, he could have been. Imagine. He could have been so good. Like he I mean, had... he was the youngest youngest scorer in the league before, like uh, yeah. Nacional, I think. Yeah. He's yeah, he still scored, only twenty eight. He scored years old. on his debut when he was sixteen. And I remember because it wasn't just a simple goal; it was like a, a winner in the ninety-third or ninety-fourth minute against Gaziantep Spor. We and got then, him in two thousand thirteen, fourteen. Fucking so up. yeah, and I think he came back to us in two thousand twelve, thirteen for like half a season or something. Or yeah, we loaned he's, him he's now something. he's now with Tuzla Spor in yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> third or fourth division. Yeah. Third division, yeah. and he's only like he's he's like twenty seven now. I think he's twenty. He's twenty eight. Yeah, he's, he's nineteen ninety one. Oh, okay. I thought it was nineteen ninety three, but that's Mohamed Timirj, I think. Uh, or it might be nineteen ninety five. I don't know. Anyway, still, he's. I mean, so, he should. Oh man, that's. I think that's probably him and Mohamed Timirj are probably my biggest disappointments, just in the sense that those guys could have had, especially Batuhan. Like, I'm not sure about Mohamed, but. Batuhan should have had. He should be Turkey's number one striker right now. He should be. Yeah, I think that's what? the same thing as with Barish Memish. What you said, like he had all the talent and everything, but you're so young, having all that money, and you just don't have any priorities. And yeah, or yeah. Mohamed Demir is twenty four, and he's playing with Isn't Van Sport Football Club in Ikinci Lig Kırmızı. What? So... Isn't he still at Istanbul? Nope. Okay. I, I... According to Transfermarkt, he isn't. Oh, maybe he just changed them. And Barış Memiş is 29 years old and is playing at Sarıyer in the Ikinci Lig Beyaz. Ah, Sarıyer. That's a nice <sighs> club. I like that so, club. Who, who is your worst worst striker? I mean, I, I said Vesel, but I don't know. Like, like the biggest disappointment. Like, obviously, I didn't have big expectations for... Uh, for Vesel. I didn't really have massive expectations for him either, but Mert Nobre is someone I hated. Because, like, for me, he was like a black hole on the pitch, just sucking everything into nothingness. Like, oh, I hated him so much. Plus, on top of that, add to that, that, like, when Ertuğrul Salam was sacked and Mustafa Denizli came in, he benched Bobo and played Nobre every match. I f- oh, my God! Like we we seriously would not have won the title if uh, he wouldn't have uh, put Bobo back in in the second half of the, well towards the second half of the season or whatever it was. Um, yeah, no, Nobre I think is probably my least favorite striker because in the 2010s, like I kind of liked all our strikers. 
Like, first we had Bobo, then we had Almeida. I really liked Almeida. Uh, he was just, you know, injured always at the most stupid times. Like, he'd be scoring every match, and then he'd get injured. And then he came back from injury, and he couldn't score a goal anymore. It's like, he, he forgot how to score. And it's like, it seems like it happened, like, every time with him. Every time he got hot, he got injured. But I really liked him, though. Because um, he wasn't just uh, a good a good striker, a goal threat in the box. He was also good outside of the box. So, in the 2010s, I pretty much liked all our strikers. Um, well, Negredo obviously was a little bit of a disappointment, but he wasn't a bad footballer. So, yeah, I have to go back to Mert Nobre, I think, as my least favorite. What about you, Umut? Well, uh, whichever you like. Uh, Sarjan Yildirim. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Kazem. Oh, yeah. Kazem Kazem. Colin Kazem. Kazem Kazem. Why did they call him Kazem Kazem? I never understood that. He's so good, they named him twice. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, but like yeah. his name, his official name was Colin Kazem Richards, so I don't. I never understood why they called him Kazem Kazem. Also, he's right now in uh, Mexican League. Really? <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I, I remember he went to Brazil, to Coritiba, I think, right? To Alex's club. Then, yeah, then he went to Corinthians. He's now with Pachuca. Remember when he was at Feyenoord? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he finally managed to score more than 10 goals in a season. And he got yeah, like I mean, a really big Dutch head. League. And he got yeah. like a super big head about it. And he, and he tried to act like Abby and stuff and being the big man in the team. I remember, I remember all the pundits hating him. Uh, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. Johan Dexa, not the biggest fan of this. So, <laughs> well, you know, but I, I always thought, like, why did Feyenoord get him? You know, what did they see in him? Uh, Pierre van Oudonk did it. Yeah, but come on. Pierre van Oudonk uh, dabbled in uh, in uh, Makelaret for a bit, and uh, he <laughs> actually uh, got him to Feyenoord. I think he has since uh, given that up. <laughs> Yeah, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I, I like Pierre Van Hoedong. I also so. uh, hate Colin Kazan for like lying on the ground in front of Philip Lam and make us concede that last minute uh, goal against uh, Germany. Uh, Philip Lam's goal in, back in 2000. Yeah. 2008. Oh god, that was the because... best game that we played. Like yeah, and we, we were played. we had. Like, our entire team was fucking injured, or Volkan was suspended, uh, you know, because of a stupid red card. <laughs> yup, my Volkan, yup! Volkan, yup, my Volkan! Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That was a good tournament, though. It was a fun tournament. I remember uh, my friend from school, um, I think he called me. I was, in, I was on vacation in some parks, and I was watching the game. And I don't remember if my friend called me or if he was texting me and he was, like, mocking me because we were losing against Croatia, you know? He was like, oh, what's up with Turkey, man? You guys are going out. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, uh, semi happened, I think. That was against Croatia, right? Yeah. And, uh, or was it against the Czech? No, it was, or maybe it was against the Czech that he was mocking me. I think it was against Croatia. I don't know. Anyway, he was mocking me. So, you know, that was uh, was really good that we uh, ended up winning that. Uh, you, you you remember Slavan Bilic's run after he yeah. scored? Uh, <laughs> then started whining about, it has passed, man, it has passed. <laughs> <laughs> man, that kick from... Uh from Nihat I still see it I, yeah, I oh. can just picture it in, in front of me like in slow motion the, the finish oh, oh man imagine if he didn't get injured oh my god such a great player man the, the, the moment it hit the post I was like just end me now just kill that me was, now you know? that was probably oh that was such a beautiful but that goal against the Czech Republic man oh yeah that's the one I'm talking about yeah 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 that was such a great finish man that was like beauty probably the the best goal I've seen the Turkish national team score, like, most beautiful goal, I think. And also we had some uh, Mehmet Battal incident. Mehmet uh, Battal. <laughs> Mehmet Battal, why did he came to Galatasaray? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He, was, he, was, he was... Turkish, a, Turkish, Turkish, and the Carol. He was, he was young and he was <laughs> tall and... Yeah, Turkish you know? and the Carol. No, you uh, didn't pay 30 million for him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, uh, maybe Jakob will... 
Sakari or Denizli? Puja or? Spor. Puja. Oh, right, right, right. He's Izmir. Yeah, Izmir yeah. player. Uh, Puja, really good academy, you know. That's what Altinodo academy went now, I guess. So they had... They had also, yeah. the Sali Huchan's uh, academy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they also... That, they say that Altinodo got um, Genghis and Chala from Puja Spor when Puja Spor has, was having a bad financial time. Could be. I don't. Rem- mm-hmm. I, I I remember reading it online. I don't know if it's. Well, I, I believe good. that uh, the the people who ran the academy at Bucha moved uh, moved and like formed their own club almost like with Altinodo or like took over Altinodo or whatever. But that's like their academy moved to Altinodo, as far as I know. So I think a lot of the players that are a little bit older, like 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 Genghis now early twenties that played for Altinodo, I think most of them were had like a Bucha history. I mean, Thailand. Thailand is also from uh, from Buja. Yeah, and Thailand is like twenty four or something, right? Salih, Emre Gural. Who I really ex- expected Gural, a lot oh, more from. I liked Emre Gural, man. Yeah, he was I good. really expected a lot more from him. Yeah, he was good. He was good. He had that goal against uh, against against Besiktas with Tolga and goal, I think. He's also lefty, yeah. Uh, yeah, for, yeah. When, yeah. At Eskishir, or uh, when when did he? Which when? what, what? When he was against... at Trabzon, I think I, oh, I think he scored against Besiktas. Right, Bishop. right. He was at you guys too, and then he was at Eskişehir. I really liked him. I always wanted us to sign him as a as a second or third goal uh, striker. I yeah, one like... one in two thousand and fourteen against against Besiktas. Hmm. Yeah, good player. What happened to him? He he can't be that old yet. He like, must be like twenty eight, twenty nine, or something. He isn't that old. He he just wasn't good, to be honest. Oh, he was, man. He was. Nah, good. he had he had He's like 30. a couple games, and then he was horrible. Okay. Yeah, those stats players. Yeah. Oh, was he? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, right man. now, right now he's in Eskishir as well. That's the team I miss most, man. Eskishir Spor. I really miss them in the Super League. Like, if I have to, if I had to, like, pick a team to support outside of the top, outside of you know, well, obviously outside of the top four, no. But if I had to pick another team than Besiktas in Turkey, that would be Eskişehir Spor. Nah, man, subtle machine. I love that is, that is Gustepe. Yeah, that is yeah. Gustepe. Well, obviously for you is Gustepe. What what's your what's your team then, Jakub? Oh, mine. Yeah, if you wouldn't be a Trabzon fan, I wouldn't. I I don't have anything. <laughs> it's, 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 it's it's I'm 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 really not joking or anything. I don't have anything for any teams. But if I had to choose a team from Istanbul, it probably is Besiktas. Well, obviously. But you know, I I, I wouldn't. I, I would I would rather. No, but no, not not the team from Istanbul. Let's say not a team from Istanbul and and not Trabzonspor. Isn't there a team you have like a sympathy for or something like? That? For me, I just like I have this the sympathy for Eskişehir going back to my dad, telling me stories about them when they were like the only, like the first team to really test. You know the, the Istanbul big clubs in the seventies, and he was just telling me stories about them. I don't, I don't even remember exactly what he was telling me. Just, I just always had this impression of Eskişehir Spor, and like in the early two thousands, you know, when he had like championship manager and stuff, I'd always like go and go into like the third division or wherever they were at the time, and I'd like start managing Eskişehir Spor. <laughs> so I've always had this little affinity for them, and then. Uh, yeah, when they came back into the Super League, you know, just their fans are so great, and yeah, I, I, plus I like their shirts. I always like I like black and black and red combination. I really like that combination. I mean, I I don't know. I never I never had like um, when I was growing up. No, I wasn't like forced to be a Trabzon sport fan. It 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 was just what I was growing up into. So I never thought of any other team. Like okay, that's the team that I should support. So I like in. Uh, the way I'm with Feyenoord, I, I live in Rotterdam, so I'm also a Feyenoord fan. But I don't have a team from Belgium or from from Germany. Or, Why would you or, have or a from team England. from Belgium? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know, from from England that I'm like, okay, that. Okay. Team, yeah. yeah. No. 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 I, I, don't, I don't either. I like I like Juventus in, uh, in in the Serie A, but that's pretty much only because when I was growing up, I was a huge fan of Pavel Netvet. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I was a huge Del Piero fan. You know that that team that they had, man. You know with Turam. You know I'm not talking yeah, about all the teams. I was a Baggio fan. Top, you know, sparking. You know, that was such a good team. You know, but yeah. um, just for shits and giggles, yeah, probably probably Besiktas. <laughs> but outside of outside of uh, uh, Istanbul, maybe a team like Kayserispor or something. Yeah, 
because I don't know. Well, I, I I have I have really good Kaiser uh, Kaiserly friends, and I think that's the reason why. And I know that Kaiser and Trabzonspor uh, are like best buds. What? Yeah, yeah, they are, they they treat each other like they are Kardes from each other. So I don't know why that a lot of another, a lot of another teams do that with problems for for some reason. I don't know why, but probably Kaiser is for. Okay, that's a weird pick. Um... <laughs> I'm not in. I'm, I'm not in it for success. Otherwise, yeah, 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 no, no, I, I, I wouldn't that, be a problem that, for like, fan. Yeah. yeah. But so, do you have like a sympathy for Liverpool? Because earlier when I was saying something about Liverpool, you're like, don't jinx it. You know? Yeah, but you know, I I I, I like said to... that. Yeah, you said <laughs> that, but he, he said, said that, that too. I said that also. Yeah. I I like to think of Trabzonspor as a team like you know, Trabzonspor was good and they are still you know trying to be try. They are the, they are the historical top four. Yeah. yeah same yeah. goes for uh, same go- same goes for Feyenoord. They are good. They used to be they used to be better. Yeah. Historical top four. Same goes for Liverpool. They used to be good. They are good now. Historical top four. You know, I think I just naturally gravitate to what Liverpool like used that. to be the biggest club, right? I know, I know, but they they just, you know, Manchester just Manchester went and Liverpool. just obli- obliterated, you know, them. Um, so I think I just have a, <laughs> I, I just have something for teams that are just, you know, Shit. that used to be really good <laughs> and just now just on the edge of becoming really, really, really good again. <laughs> okay, I'm just doomed. I I never had this affinity for an English club. I just I don't know. Like I don't mind. Uh, I mean, obviously the Premier League is fun to watch, but I never really had a club like. I guess if I'd had to pick one, probably would be Arsenal, just because they're losers like we are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I don't know. I I just just really not a. I always kind of liked like the the smaller clubs like like a West Ham or an Ars oh, an Aston Villa or something like that. But like I used to like Aston Villa because of obviously Alpi played there, but then they shunned him so there kind of went my sympathy for them uh leeds united i kind of like leeds even though they beat Uh-oh. us six nil bastards Uh-oh. no 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 i, I like this as well <laughs> even I though a... even though they must hate us but... i have a i have a friend who's from leeds so i i guess it has to do with that he hates it no 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 well no but he used to he used to be he has a lot of fr- friends that are like season ticket holders, and he used to go. He used to be a season ticket holder too, I think, but I don't think he cares much anymore. But uh, about Ghost writing? Well, I remember he was my he, he's my friend because of uh, we ha- we used to game together, and uh, I remember when we did like a meeting once in Leeds, and uh, I remember I think Kim was there too. Must have been in like two thousand. 13 or something um i don't remember if she went actually uh, anyway uh so i remember him you know talking a little bit of shit about god's guy so yeah you know good <laughs> yeah, i'm a Liverpool fan in england you know yeah, yeah, yeah i know that i know because really of like... the games i played when i was a child like the fifa 2001 and 2002 i looked up at the you know there was this uh Fascinating game, World Cup 20, 2002. Yeah, such a good uh, game. Yeah, the flames going out of the yeah. ball. And uh, the uh, most of the... I, I saw, like, most of the uh, England squad was based on Liverpool. And I uh, uh, made a search about it. And if, you, if, how... you're, if you're going to go down, like, the, that road of the best games in FIFA, it has to be 98, man. That was such a good game. Uh, RTWC Road to the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, I FIFA played that. FIFA 1998. Yeah, yeah I amazing. played that. But uh, my favorite was like 2002 and 2003 because like they were just like evolution of the game. 2003 at Sergen in in the game with a real face and it was yeah, 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 yeah. squad. <laughs> even even out of them had a real face. Oh. The, yeah, one of the good, yeah. Yeah, one of the blunders FIFA made is the in two thousand four Emre Belasol has a real face, but right now he doesn't. Well, why? <laughs> well, obviously because those graphics are way too old and they didn't do a new face scan. Uh, and they, they just found out that he's a mess. Also, uh, I would say that uh, Emre <laughs> Belasol is the. Uh, uh, you know, uh, oldest player in the game right now, like uh, uh, created because the ID is ah, the yeah, yeah. 80. 
80 something so you can't talk about that yeah yeah (laughs) now this is one of those things like uh you know the turkish league has been in fifa again since 2010 i think and i always like working on the game for as long as i have and all that i always felt like it was kind of treated like yeah you know there's no no attention being paid to it players in the league don't they, they, they don't even send a team to go to Galatasaray, Bishtesh, Fenerbahce just to take face scans or anything of the team. Like I think that, you know, all the obviously all the focus goes on the Premier League and then maybe a little bit on La Liga and then, then the they should Liga and then the they thing. should let some free freebies doing it like uh, well, the guys I, I, I think, making patches. I think it would be cool if like you know a couple of the the the, the keep the, the star play like for example the when Erkan Zengin was at Eskişehirspor, I think Erkan Zengin with a with an actual face in the game would have been cool and i think a couple of players at, at trabzon and at Bishikdash and at fener and at galsrai like not everyone of course but like uh, i don't know muslera having a real I, I guess he has a real real face probably but like a guy like muslera should have a real face and uh you know uh belhamda because just to piss us <laughs> off, you know. Uh, and at Besiktas, you know, like Adam Lai should have... I think he may actually have a real face because he was in Serie A for so long. But, you know, Adam Lai, Nkudu, he probably also has one. Because yeah, he was Burak, a Burak should have a face, Burak, man. Burak for sure. Gokhan Gunnel, Chaner maybe. Uh, Karius probably has one. Yeah, Karius, um, I think he should have one. Yeah, he, he, he definitely has one. Um, because he came from the Premier League, and that's probably the trend you'll notice. If there's a player that comes from the Premier League, they'll have a real face. So I'm probably I'm not I'm not sure because I don't play the game anymore. Uh, but uh, Nkudu probably has a real face. Um, but then like for Trabs and Sport, like a, like a Serloff with a real face would be cool. And I, I doubt he has one, even though he came from a English Crystal Palace. Palace. Yeah, Crystal Palace. But I he, don't even know. think that uh, that Sturridge has one, to be honest. Really? That's it, it impossible. Would, it would really surprise impossible. me. Yeah, I, I I haven't played the game since like 2015, so I don't know. But you should have for some reason. In my opinion, though, since we're talking about games, and I was I'm kind of like the nerd of the group, I think because of my Reddit <laughs> handle. <laughs> good good luck with that, mate. You can't out nerd me. No, but because of my Reddit <laughs> handle, I'm supposed to be the game guy. Um, oh, okay. I what's, think what's your in my handle? opinion. The, the best game, the best football game ever is Pro Evolution Soccer 2006. Pro Evolution Soccer 6 for the PlayStation 2. No, Pro Evolution Soccer 3 is the best game. With it Colina. was Colina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ah, the best one. That God, is, Colina. I had so much fun in that game. I made the entire Turkish League because you have like these, this, this Blanco League you can edit. Yeah, with. yeah. I made the entire Turkish League, like every single player. I made the kits. I made logos for every team. I had so much fun in that game, man. Oh, that was such a like those er, those those early two thousands, like mid two thousands. Pro Evolution Soccer's or winning 11 games, they were so good. They felt real because you got fucked by the referee and it felt like you were playing real Turkish football. I, I felt like like I was playing with the real Besiktas because I got fucked by the ref every fucking time. It was so good. <laughs> it was so realistic. It was, it was really good, man. Like, And I, I swear to God, like your opponents were allowed to score offside goals and shit, so it made it really, really realistic. <laughs> I remember getting, uh, I had a PlayStation 2 that could uh, play uh, downloaded games. And I remember getting a game in Turkey. And the guy told me like, no, 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 it's it's Pro Evolution Soccer with uh, with the Super League. I was like, dude, how the fuck did you guys do that? So I bought it. It was like, like on Bestele or something. Yeah, and yeah. I got home and I, I put it in the PlayStation and they just modded the shit out of the game. It had, oh. it had, it had all the Super League teams. Was it good? It was good. The, the the starting the starting video was changed, so you had like Sergen with his that that you know that one free kick where it just it, it so, pretty much got, yeah that one against you Kunich. Goal. The goalkeeper was called you, Kunich. You had a goal from uh, from Fatih like a hip shot from like twenty five meters, and it was such a good game. Oh they my were, god, I need to watch that. Do you have that? Or can you get me like a YouTube link? I want to watch that. No, my my fucking PlayStation Two is in Turkey, man. Um, uh, I I can't get it. Um, it was like winning eleven. But that was like the perfect crazy. time for stuff like that because you could mod it. Like in Turkey, they mod the shit out of that stuff. Like the PlayStation Two was a perfect generation of console. Like the graphics were good. Uh, well, relatively speaking, of course, the graphics were good. Uh, you had 
you know the games were you had room to put stuff in like that and you know ah oh man that was a golden time for that kind of stuff i, I remember I, yeah go ahead sorry i just did a quick google search and it's winning 11 8 it's the 2005 and 2006 super league uh, mm. super league uh, season oh my god so fener has rushed to fabia fabio luciano servet tunjai apia aurelio and then you have Galatasaray with Oranak, Gian, Haspolatlı, Hasan Şaş, <laughs> Pasa Ilic, Necat Yatir. Oranak, Gian, Haspolatlı, oh my god. Oh my he god, had the such... longest neck, he looked like a freaking giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just... were... I, I think you could, I think you could like totally customize players. I think I remember giving him like a super long neck in the game and stuff like that. <laughs> and he had like this massive Adam's apple that could stick out your eye. Such a good game, man! I was yeah. so happy with that game. Yeah, that's like that's the thing I missed with uh, with FIFA, like the customization just wasn't there uh, anymore. And then, like you remember, like in two thousand and twelve or something, I think wasn't the game like the league was dropped out of the game for the Shika thing? I think in two thousand twelve. I think I, I don't know. I didn't play. Yeah. I, I played uh, PES back in the days. Then and I the, think it's the uh, twelve. Yeah, 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 and they dropped the league, but then they ad- they added this feature where you could like download uh, user user creations, so you could download like leagues that other people created and stuff like that. Yeah, but that stuff worked so bad, and I don't know how we ended up talking about football games, but uh, yeah, it's a bonus episode, so who cares? Um, yeah, no, I uh, yeah, just just those those early games, man. The PlayStation 2 era was just the best, I think. Um, I remember I, I discovered Pro Evolution Soccer in Turkey through my cousins because, like, here that wasn't a big thing yet back in those days. Uh, and I remember there was like this. Uh, it's also how I discovered uh, Evanescence because one of those games had like the Linkin Park uh, with Evanescence song, I think, you know, the Bring Me Back to Life as the intro to the game. I, I was probably a modded version too, but uh, that was just I just made such an impression on me that uh, I still to this day really like that song and uh, yeah. I mean, Pro Pro Evolution Six was also the game where <laughs> where you had dolls, right? And Ribery was in the game, and it, <laughs> this face was absolutely horrible. It really looked like 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 a like Resident Evil guy. So it was <laughs> realistic then, or what? Yeah, I know. I know. And it also it also had Adriano with ninety nine shot speed. Pretty much everything went Oof. in. Shot power. Yeah. Ah, it was so fucking good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's horrible. What happened to that guy, man? Yeah, he was so good for a while. Like one or two seasons, he was like, the, like he was the new Ronaldo. You know, like the new big Brazilian striker, the next big thing. You know, Brock Lesnar, but then <laughs> in football. Yeah, but, his uh, dad passed away and yeah, he just... You know, he went to the depression and stuff. Yeah. Horrible. Such shit. Yeah. Hmm. I need a refill for my drink, so maybe you guys should uh, chat a little. I'll be right back. Should it be over? <laughs> yeah. I don't a little know. bit like, sleepy. Like <laughs> oh, Umut, uh, Umut wants to go and... Uh, spend yeah, the weasel. Fair. His mom is probably like, what the hell were you talking to? Why haven't you called me yet today? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the next room, Mom. Uh, okay. No, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. This is, uh, it's plenty, 3 o'clock right now here. Yeah. Plenty, plenty of yeah. bonus, oh, uh, forgot about that. Forgot, forgot that you're I in didn't, Turkey. I didn't forget, I just don't care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh. No, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm finishing up my last week of vacation now because the, the boy has to go back to school on uh, Monday, I guess. So tomorrow I still have a, a day together with him. And then uh, then on the weekend, doing some family visiting. And then next week, back to school with him. So then I can clean the house. Yay. <laughs> Life goes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, then this was a little bit of a bonus episode for you guys. We were just, you know, after our recording, just shooting the breeze a little bit. And I, at some point I was like, this should be like, we should be recording this. This is fun, you yeah. know. So that's what this is. Don't expect any uh, special editing whizzy shit. I'll put a song on it maybe, but uh, that's it. And uh, 
this little, I'll release this in a couple of days as a little bonus episode. So um, thanks for listening, and uh, don't forget to listen to our. N- Previous episodes, reviewing the match day 17 results, looking back at the, the the first half of the season, and then our next episode, we'll be talking about this past decade, uh, maybe some transfer stuff and all that kind of stuff. So, Jakub, thanks. Umut, thanks. Go to sleep. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> And thanks for you guys listening uh, for, to listen. And uh, if you like this, uh, just us shooting the breeze a little bit, talking off script uh, let, let us know maybe we'll do this we'll, maybe we'll record our conversations more often and drop a couple of bonuses bye 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 bye